Good morning. First and foremost, I do want to apologize because everyone that reached out and sent me something, just an encouragement or say congratulations, thank you. Originally, my wife said, hey, you have three birthday cards. My kids from Canada, my wife, and that was it. I was so focused on trying to get this social media under control and generating decent videos with content that I did not look at Facebook. And this morning I was just verifying a few things and added some people that wanted to become a confirmed friend. And I realized that there were almost 300 people that had sent me a congratulations. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you so very much. I love it. And I did not realize that there were that many people and more actually interested. You know, what we are trying to accomplish here today is not so much how good it is, who, who we are and what we have accomplished. I'm going to share with you in deception protocol blueprint, simplify. Uh, 70 years is a long time. And normally when you're 70, you're supposed to be an old tart, an old prune and just at the end of your life. But the reality is that is a deception. It's a protocol blueprint that we got when we were born. We don't know better that when you're 70, you're just about gone. But in reality, we got 120 years to live. And what are we going to do with that? So that is the secret I want to share with you. What can we do in order to improve our lifestyle, improve our life, living in an imperfect world? I know so many people like to complain about Oh, this is wrong and that is wrong with society and that politician should scale, you know, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to comment because in the beginning I fell for that too. But if we look beyond that issue and if we look a little further and a little deeper, we understand that those are concepts. It is a deception. It is up to me, me and my house. What do I do when I face the challenges? What do I do and what am I willing to do? Am I willing to change my mind, my thinking? Is it desperation or inspiration that moves me? And are you willing to move along? Are you willing to make the changes? Like when I decided to lose weight, I've helped hundreds of people to lose weight over the course of my life through the different enterprises I had. But the reality, losing weight yourself, when you're at 115 kilos, you know you're just about there. Once you get over the 230 pounds, 115 kilos, it's very hard to bring it back. How do I know that? I've worked with hundreds of people in fitness business related enterprises. First and foremost, we had a big, large fitness club in Canada, London, Ontario, 4,000 square, uh, 4, square meters, 40,000 square foot. I mean, yeah, that is, and uh, six squash courts, 30,000 pounds of free weights, aerobic rooms. And I tell you, we had it all. It was wonderful. And we have been able to experiment with people. Saunas, swimming, public swimming pool, uh, playing tennis. But reality is, if you not, are not inspired, then you come because you are so desperate. You want to do something about it. And I was both desperate and as well inspired. That is what we're dealing with, with seed sowers, brain train. Why am I waiting? Because I want you to think. It's like when you were a child, your parents had to tell you, those were eyeballs, those were brows, this was a nose, this was a mouth, those were ears, this is a chin, remember? But now in life, who is telling you what reality is? See, deception protocol blueprint tells you that there is something there that we need to understand. We need to learn the blueprint of our life. And I'm willing to share that with you because I had to learn it the hard way. I was paralyzed. Yes, I had to get over that. It was a phase of paralysis. The left part of my body did not work for quite some time. Learning to walk, to talk, instead of listening, to the doctor that said I had a speech impediment for the rest of my life. And then again, when my wife and I got married and our little boy was born, awesome, 
great experience. We had to bring him into the hospital. They had to verify something and overnight he got affected with some strange disease from Africa because of a mistake. Seven and a half months old, he passed away in my arms. And I tell you, up till today, it still hurts. But you know, what do you do with the hurt? Do you let it fester and change your life and destroy your life? Plus not only your life, as well as the life of others, the people around you. So we are going to deal with those aspects. They're tough situations, but tough times never last, folks. Tough people do. Why? Because we are getting inspired, regardless of the desperation we are in. God bless you, and remember, tough times never last, but tough people do. Bye for now.